We will now go through some worked examples of a QR model and a base stock model. So the problem we're going to go through first is a materials manager for a manufacturer of diesel oil filters has a demand for metal tubes of 250 units per week. The lead time for the tubes is two weeks and the order amount is 228 units per replenishment and the root mean square error RMSE of the forecast is 1,316 units per year. So we need to find the safety stock, the reorder point and the average inventory assuming a QR model. Also assume the demand is normally distributed giving the uh, manufacturer wants a 95% service level for a, a replenishment cycle and uh, this is our type 1 service level and also assume the inventory is continuously reviewed. Okay so let's write down some of the key attributes that uh, that we know. So we're told in the problem that our mu, our average weekly amount is 250 units per week. So that's given in units per week. We also know that our lead time, I'm going to call that L, is two weeks. We're also given our um, Q value which is our order amount so we know Q is equal to 228 and that's given in units per order. We know our root mean square error our root mean square error is equal to 1316 and that's given in units per year and just take note here that this is given as a yearly unit whereas everything else we have is in weekly so we're going to have to convert that in a sec. The last bit of data that we have is that alpha given from our 95% service level for our cycle service level is equal to 95% or 0 0.95. Okay, so let's come over here and start off by calculating um, the uh, the weekly stand deviation. So, one, our first step is to find the weekly standard deviation. Okay, so what do we know? We know that um, our, our root mean square error was 1316. So let's call our weekly standard deviation sigma L because we want it in the same term as lead time. So to convert our root mean square error, which is a standard deviation in itself, into a weekly format, we divide by the square root of 52. So this gives us an approximate weekly standard deviation, and this comes out to 182.5. Now again, the reason we do this is to ensure that our standard deviation is in the terms of the units of lead time. Okay, so next we can go on now to find, as our second step, the safety stock. So find our safety stock. Okay, to find safety stock, we write down some terms that we'll need to use. The first important term is lead time. Lead time we know is given as two weeks. We know that we just calculated our sigma L, which is 182.5. Oops, 0.5. Um, we know an alpha is 0.95. 
we then do a very quick calculation using either a lookup table or Microsoft Excel. If we were to use Microsoft Excel to find the Z from our alpha value, we type into Excel the function norm S I N V, which is the inverse of a standard normal. We type in 0.95 in brackets, and this gives our answer 1.64. Okay, now we have the key information now to find safety stock. So if we recall from our theory, safety stock, we'll use SS equals Z times our standard deviation times the square root of L. We just worked our Z, 1.64. Our sigma L, we worked out, is 182.5. And our lead time is 2, so it's the square root of 2. So calculating this out, we get 423 units. So this is our safety stock. Okay, next we're asked to find what our reorder point is for um, the, uh, the QR model. And so that will be our third step. So here we are finding our reorder point. Now to find our reorder point we need to use mu is 250 as we saw at the start. Again we're going to use our lead time of two weeks. Our Z which we calculated up above of 1.64 and our equation for our reorder point if we recall is R equals mu times L plus our safety stock, which we worked out before, Z sigma L square root of L. So we have 250 for our mu. Our lead time is two weeks. And our safety stock, we worked out up here, which is 423. Summing this together, we get... 923 units. So that is our reorder point. Okay, and lastly, we need to work out what our average imagery is. So we're going to find our average inventory. Okay, so some key things we'll need to find our average inventory. We need to use our Q, which is 228. Our safety stock, which we've calculated as 423. So let's go ahead and calculate our average inventory for a QR model. So we know that our average inventory and I'm using the expression here, the expected value of inventory, which is the same as our average inventory, is equal to Q on 2 plus safety stock, which was given, if you recall, Z sigma L square root of L. Okay, so Q, we just said, is 228 divided by 2 plus our safety stock which is 4, 2, 3 okay. again multiplying through then adding it up we get 537 units Okay, so if we were to draw a uh, little schematic 
of the uh, solution here. Excuse the bad drawing. So we have our top line which is going to be our reorder point. So R here is 9, 2, 3. Our safety stock is 4, 2, 3. Um, and uh, you can see that our difference between the safety stock and reorder point is merely our mu L, which is 250 times 2 to give us 500. You can see that difference there. And we worked out what our average inventory is, which is halfway between um, our uh, order amount, Q12, plus our safety stock. So that would be in that region. Um, our average inventory would be in this region here at uh, 537.